Pneumatic cylinders are typically mechanical devices that take energy and convert it into some kind of motion. That motion can be in any form, such as blocking, clamping, or ejecting, but more typically you'll see them performing rotational or linear motions. There are many styles of pneumatic actuators, including diaphragm cylinders, rodless cylinders, telescoping cylinders, and through rod cylinders. The most popular style of pneumatic actuator consists of a piston and rod moving inside a closed cylinder. This actuator style can be subdivided into two types based on their operating principle single acting and double acting. Single acting cylinders use one air port to allow compressed air to enter the cylinder to move the piston to the desired position, as well as an internal spring to return it to the home position when the air pressure is removed. Double acting cylinders have an air port at each end and move the piston forward and back by alternating the port that receives the high pressure air. In a typical application, the actuator body is connected to a support frame and the end of the rod is connected to a machine element that is to be moved. A directional control valve is used to provide a path of compressed air to the extend port while allowing the exhaust air to escape through the valve to the atmosphere. The difference in pressure on the two sides of the piston results in a force equal to the pressure differential multiplied by the surface area of the piston. If the load connected to the rod is less than the resultant force, the piston and rod will extend and move the machine element. Reversing the directional control valve will provide compressed air to the retract port, allowing exhaust to escape the extend port and the cylinder will return to its home position. Pneumatic actuators are at the working end of a fluid power system. Upstream of these units, which produce the visible work of a moving load, are compressors, filters, pressure regulators, lubricators, on-off control valves, and flow controls. Connecting all of these components together is a network of piping or tubing, either rigid or flexible, and fittings. Pressure and flow requirements of the actuators in the system must be taken into account when selecting the upstream system components to ensure desired performance. Undersized upstream components can cause a pneumatic actuator to perform poorly or even make it unable to move its load at all. For more videos like this one, please visit fluidpowerworld.com.